All right, what's going on, ladies and gents? It is your boy Hasty Jammers here, back with another Ratchet and Clank Crack in Time video. But you know, mm, I hate to say this, but it's a post comedy. Yeah, nah, who cares? I wanted to build it up, build the suspense, but no one cares. But let's just get straight into it. Yeah, so this was a continuation of uh, my playthrough on Ratchet and Clank: A Crack in Time on the planet Lumos. You know, in I think in my live commentaries, I was saying Thermos or Dermos or something. But when I look back at the videos, it is Planet Lumos. And uh, yeah, I was pretty much helping, uh, quote unquote, defending the Krell Canyon from the uh, Arugnians or uh, Arugnians. I think that was their um, the race's name. Not too sure. I swear, some of games come up with the funniest names for uh, monsters and creatures from other world, other galaxies, which is what you gotta praise them for, really. There, you know, the imaginations and uh, you know the ex exploration in terms of uh, coming up with new ideas for creatures and monsters and whatever. It never ceases to amaze me. But uh, yeah, I sped up this bit because it was pretty much a. Um, <clears throat> I sped up the bit a, pre uh, a minute ago because it was just me taking out a bunch of uh, air fleet or air forces, uh, enemy ships, enemy troops, whatever you want to call them. You know, halfway through this uh, live commentary, I looked at my microphone and it turns out, you know, that the audacity, you know, it closed the program automatically closed itself. I don't know. A every time there seems to be a new excuse for this sort of thing. But some live commentaries work, some don't. And um, yeah, you know, uh, most of my weapons upgraded now, which is it's very good, very good. So um, I get to go into the new uh, next levels with stronger weapons. Uh, there is, I, I think, in one of my videos I said that I could have bought armor, but um, apparently I'm not high enough level yet, or I'm not further enough off, uh, I'm not far enough into the game to be buying this sort of thing. But I will be able to soon. I'm not sure how far I am into the game yet. I'm probably still near the beginning stages because of how slow I've been working with these let's plays because I've been uh, doing a lot of Street Fighter 4 stuff and um, you know I'm, I haven't been playing my PS3 a lot because I've been doing Street Fighter 4 things and the only time I pop on my PS3 is when I want to do Ratchet & Clank videos and uh, yeah well, well you know the, the Ratchet & Clank videos they're up and down so and that's uh, that's to be expected but uh, I'll explain the whole you know YouTube side of things let's play things or my opinion on it in another video probably just an all round video that's for another time and uh, yeah, so I got this new gadget that uh, I think in Ratchet Clank One and in Ratchet Clank Future Tools of Destruction, there was a gadget that would allow you to soak up water or any liquid fluid, and you could use it to um, you could use it to your advantage, and you could create uh, platforms and sort of blocks to help you jump over these high ledges. And uh, they brought it back in Ratchet and Clank Crack uh, a crack in time. Which I was very surprised about in my other comments. I was like, hey, they brought that thing back. Because in Ratchet Clank 1, you could suck up this water in certain areas. And then you could just uh, put it in this like dispenser or this filter. And then it would just fill up this place. So it looked like you are filling up a pool. Like you're a janitor working at some swimming pool or something. And uh, in this case, you know, there's certain plants in the game where you know you soak up the water from you know uh, sewers or whatever. And then you just squirt it in the uh you squirt it into this plant and make the plant grow and it becomes you know a whole it has this whole elasticity effect and makes it bouncy and then you get to jump off it and it's great <laughs> it works and then you know that uh the gadget has more uses than one i believe in my previous videos there was a certain enemy that was really annoying because you couldn't kill it or you couldn't kill them and they were very annoying to get past and those were the termites and i seen that plant uh, this plant you're seeing now, that it's a, I think it's called a nectar plant, or oh, that's what you'd call it, uh, you know, in real life, of course. So you let the insects like bees, wasps, that go to it and just take or suck the nectar out of it because of this uh, sweet taste. And that's actually exactly what these termites are doing. Which in my first two videos, I think it was my first one, the termites. So I just died like eight times. The termites were annoying me so much; it was unbelievable. And uh, they're back, but except you've got a little handy down. Uh, advantage handicap to it and uh, there was a place near the beginning of one of my videos where you know there was a plant and I think you had to use that plant to kind of throw the termites off and this is where I got really scared because <laughs> I got this uh, I got the constructor upgrade and I turned around and then you know they're in my face and I didn't know I had any nectar uh, you know nectar bullets in the gun or the gadget and um, yeah I just kind of threw it off and it, the funny thing is with termites is when you go into the water they will not come near you because they just don't like the water so Obviously, uh, the developers of the game, they put a hitbox saying, you know, when the player walks into the water, uh, make sure the termites do not cross the line. <laughs> cross the line. <laughs> okay, but you get the idea. And, uh, you know, there were these certain uh, areas where they'd be cover up in spikes. And funny enough, you'd have to use the nectar and the termites together to your advantage 
to kind of throw them off their game and just eat the uh, eat the plants the blockade that was in front of you which is pretty interesting as well you know it, there's one thing I, I've probably said this a million times there's one thing about Ratchet and Clank games that you know surprises me and gets me hyped about them is you know the innovation uh, you know the creativity around how these weapons and gadgets are used you know some I don't know who comes up with these ideas but they must have ideas flourishing out of their head it's pretty amazing I've got to say and I got my boy Mr. Zircon I shall say Zircon the Destructor or, uh, or the Destroyer I think it's called now because it's maximum level 5 and uh, yeah so there's about 12 or so weapons to collect and there's about 4 gadgets to go reasonable because I got um, oh god damn got a bit, a bit of wind there coming Sorry about it, guys. If you had a bit of wind, that's because my window just flew right open because I forgot to close it. But hey, we'll see what happens. But yeah, coming up near the end, and this was a this was a really annoying part because uh, the termites were blocking the door, but they were blocking my pathway as well, which that was very, very annoying. And um, yeah, see, so you had to kind of use them to advantage there to open the door or just get rid of the vines, whilst not getting eaten by them because. You can't destroy them, and they can kill you in one hit. Once they hit you or eat you, uh, that's it. It's game over. So uh, yeah, it was coming up near the end of the thing because I I realized like halfway through, or halfway through near the end that you know it wasn't recording. So I just said, Nah, I'll keep on playing. See what happens. Because uh, yeah, up to the amount of times I've said this over and over again, <laughs> it will be. Uh, I don't like doing post commentaries, but you know sometimes I I think post commentaries are decent way to go about things but uh, you know there'll be less post commentaries than live commentaries and obviously I've done uh, I have took the initiative and actually used my brain this time and I used uh, I'd make two save files so in case I recorded once and uh, you know it messes up uh, I can load up the other file and then just re-record it and try and live commentary again obviously it won't be as ecstatic and live as the first one but um, Oh, the first time going, uh, the first time round, but uh, you know it's still live commentary and live commentary is fun with let's plays. So and I sped up this bit as well slightly. You won't be able to see it like sped up that much, but it's because I died. But I accidentally shot the nectar, the nectar bullets at myself, or where I was supposed to crank the wrench, and unfortunately I got eaten by the termites. So <laughs> I call them termites. I'm not actually sure what they're called, but you know they, they act like termites really bad. But um. Yeah, you know, the, the game's going swell. Uh, to all the people that have been watching the Ratchet & Clank videos so far, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watching, because I know a few people wanted to watch this kind of stuff from me, because it's not the stuff I usually upload. Uh, you know, in terms of view-wise, uh, I was expecting it, you know, uh, roughly around 10 views, less than 10 views, because it's not the sort of thing that my channel was targeted towards, but it's something that I wanted to upload. Like I said, I will explain in another video altogether as to why or how people should go about doing things on YouTube and uh, doing let's plays is one of them and yeah we're coming up to a cutscene where finally finally Ratchet and Clank not they don't necessarily meet but they're in contact with each other and you know one of them has to do a favor for the other person in order to return the favor if that makes any sense you know it's like you know you scratch my back I scratch yours and then we both end up happy at the end of the day but unfortunately you know, uh, communication cut off, you know, uh, Ratchet and Azimuth are, you know, still looking for the Obsidian Eye, or I think they were just uh, looking for a way to find Clank, and Clank needs Ratchet's help to save, <coughs> quote unquote, Clank's father, but the guy that's with Clank, uh, I call him the janitor for some reason, I can't remember his name, I just think he's a very dodgy, sketchy dude, I think something's gonna happen, I, I have this intuition with things, I've watched too much anime, to kind of just know who's who's the suspicious dudes, who's the guys that are going to help you in the long run, but they're going to do it in the the, the the more sinister and cunning way than the actual blunt way, if that, that makes any sense. I don't know what I'm saying now. But, uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for the post-commentary. Um, so, uh, it is EVO this weekend. Most of you may know, most of you may not know, but EVO is just the world's biggest fine games tournament. And that's going to be this weekend. Hopefully I can get some live commentary videos out uh, r roughly around the time before it starts. Maybe not. We'll see what goes on because I think it's only Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else I want to say? Yeah. So hopefully people do. Uh, people have watched all the videos. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And uh, hopefully you stay tuned for next live commentary from your boy HC Jammers. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. So enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.